All right, so welcome back here. And in the last video, we added this kind of trending uh, right side bar here um, for our most popular tweets. And in this one, we are gonna be going over adding uh, some kind of replies or comments or whatever you wanna call them. So let's uh, start building this out. All right, so come over into your back end here into your schema.prisma. Um, and we're just gonna start by uh, copying over a tweet here. Um, and then we are just going to paste that at the bottom, just like this. And we are going to be calling this model our uh, comment. So reply, comment, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we can get rid of some of this stuff here. Let's just get rid of uh, these things here for now. So we're going to have an ID, a created at, uh, when it's created at, and then kind of the content um, for our comment. So that is good. Go ahead and save that. And then also we want to add these up onto uh, our user as well as to our tweet. So let's come up to uh, here to our tweet here. And just on the bottom here, we can just add this on as well. And we're just going to say comments. And that is going to be of the comment type and it's going to be an array. So go ahead and save that. And then we also want to add it to our user model here. So do the same thing comments, comment type, and that's also going to be array of comments. So go ahead and save both of those. And when we do that, uh, that will automatically add these uh, types here. So it'll give us a user ID um, and handle the relation and stuff for us. All right, so that's good. Let's open up this and we'll come over, create a new window here and we will CD into our server. Looks like we were not in the right folder there. So let's CD into server, make sure you're in server. And then we'll run that command. MPX Prisma migrate, save, dash dash experimental. And we got to name our mig migration. So we'll say comment. And that looks like it worked fine. And then we want to push this up by going like this and saying up instead of save. And that looks like it is good. Okay, so we don't need to be in the server for anything else for now. We might come back to that, but let's continue on here. So uh, next thing we want to do is we want to come into the types here and we need a new type. So we're going to need a comment type. So we're going to say comment.ts. Okay, and let's just copy over. We'll copy over the like tweets. Doesn't matter, just copy one of them over. And we'll go into comments here, paste this in. Okay, and then we will uh, add up here, we'll go uh, comment, and then this is gonna be of type comment. Okay, so that's looking good. And then we're gonna need an ID. Uh, we need t.model.content. Then we need a created at, just like this. Okay, so that's looking good. And I think that's all we need for that. So go ahead and save that. Again, we're gonna have to generate and uh, restart our servers and stuff. So we'll have an error for a second. So don't worry about those for now. Uh, then let's come into our uh, tweet here. And in here, we just wanna copy this down and we wanna say comments here. Okay, so that's good. Save that. We wanna do the same thing in our user. We wanna add it here to our user. So again, we just want to say comments, make sure you have a C. Okay, save that. Uh, and then we want to go into our index. Okay, and we want to export it here. So we want to make sure we have it there. And we will say uh, comments, comment rather, not comments. Okay, that's good. And then uh, we'll go and create our mutation after this, but let's actually make sure we don't forget to generate um, our schema here. So again, CD into server, and we're gonna go MPX Prisma generate. All right, that's looking good. And if we come over here, we see we might have to restart our server. So in your server, restart that. And hopefully that takes care of all our errors. Let's go through. Okay, no errors. That's looking good. Uh, we don't need our scheme up right now. 
Um, okay, so that is all looking great. Uh, seems to be working fine. And the last thing we want to do in our back end is actually create our uh, mutation here. So let's come over to our mutation uh, in here, .ts, and close this for now. And down at the bottom, uh, let's copy over one of these that we can work with here. So let's just copy over maybe the create tweet. That's going to be kind of similar. So copy that then come down and see where this ends. Okay, below this and paste that in. And we're just going to start uh, changing this over. So let's go create a comment. And that's going to be from the comment, capital comment. Okay, so that's looking good. And then the args that we're going to pass in here, one of them is going to be uh, content and it's going to be a string arg. That's good. We actually want it to be nullable. Nullable and that is false. So we want it to be a required field. And then we're going to have a second argument here and that's going to be an ID and that's going to be an int. Let's see if that pops up. Int arg, yep. And that too is going to be nullable. Uh, false. So those two are going to be required fields. Then we're going to come down in here and we're going to have content like that, but we're also going to have uh, an ID that we're going to pass in. So that's good. Uh, same thing here. Uh, and then we're going to come down to data and we're going to have content and then we're going to have, uh, this is going to be user, not author for us. And that's going to be connected here the same way. And then finally, we're going to have one more and we're going to say uh, tweet and then connect. Uh, and that is going to be connected by the ID and we're going to say number same as the one above it and then the ID that is passed in. And then we are going to want to change this. Don't forget this. So this is going to be not tweet, but comment. Okay. So that looks like it is working. May have to restart the server there one more time. Okay, that's all good. Okay, so that is basically uh, everything that we need for the back end. So let's uh, start building this out in the front end. All right, so come into your web here, come into your SRC and your components, and we're gonna create a new file here. And we're just gonna call it uh, create comment dot uh, TSX. All right, so let's actually come over to our tweet dot TSX here, and we're gonna copy this over because these are gonna be somewhat similar. So we can kind of work off uh, the scaffolding here. Um, so we'll come up to the top here. This is gonna be uh, create a comment. All right, that looks good. And then we are going to start with a mutation. So it's gonna be a create comment mutation. Okay, and this is gonna say create comment. Make sure that's camel case. Okay, that's looking good. And we're gonna have content, which is gonna be a string. Uh, well, that's gonna be required for us, so make sure we put that. And then we're also gonna have a ID, and that is going to be an int. And that is gonna be required also. And then we gotta add that down here. So our ID, oops or case is gonna be our dollar sign ID. All right, that looks pretty good, I think. Uh, create common mutation, let's copy that over. We'll paste that down here. That is good. Uh, instead of tweet values here, we'll say comment uh, props. Okay, and that's just gonna be the content of the string. Uh, and then we're gonna have another uh, interface. So come down here and we're gonna have to pass in some props. So this is just gonna be the props that we're gonna pass in the typings for that. So for this one, we're gonna have a tweet. Okay, we're gonna have a, let's copy this down a couple times. Uh, we're gonna have a name. We're gonna have an avatar. And then finally we'll have an ID, which is just gonna be a number. Okay, so these are gonna be from what we're passing in from our all tweets component into this component so we know uh, what user it's coming from basically. All right, so then let's continue down here, just fixing this up a little bit. So let's say create comment. Okay, use mutation, that's good. Create comment mutation, that is good. 
Uh, we'll keep the me query for now. Uh, the modal is going to be the same actually, so that's good. Uh, our initial values are going to come from the comment props. Okay, and that's just going to be content. The validate schema can be uh, the same. Open modal, all this can be the same. So that is looking pretty good. Now, right here, we're going to want to do this a little different. So let's actually just get rid of this for now. Okay. We're going to span like that. And then we're going to throw an on click on here. And that's going to be equal to open modal. Okay. And then in the span here, we just want to uh, have kind of a comment icon. So let me just paste that in here. This is going to be from Fawn Awesome. Uh, and it's just going to be the outline of the comment. Uh, so that is good. Uh, the modal, that's going to be all basically the same. All right, then we're going to come down in here and we'll just say uh, create comment. That's good. Uh, the variables, so we're going to pass in a couple things here. So we actually want to do uh, an object here. And we're going to go dot, dot, dot uh, values. So spread in our values, even though it's just one for us. And then second is going to be the ID. Now this ID is what we're going to be passing in from our props and that is going to be the ID of the tweet that we want to connect it to. So we're going to need that as well, which we'll add in a sec. Uh, but let's come down a little bit further here and just see what else we can change. So this is going to be a reply. Oh, instead of what's happening here, let's change this to uh, tweet uh, your reply. Okay. Mm, dot, 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 dot there. Okay, so that's looking good. Now we actually want to come over to our all tweets component here because we want to pass this stuff in. So come down below here and this is where we're going to add um, the icon and stuff that we want to click on to be able to open up our create comment. So we're going to go like this. We're going to span and then inside the spam we're going to add our create comment. Bring that in. And then on this create comment, we're going to add the, the things, the props that we want to pass in. So avatar, that's equal to tweet dot author dot profile dot avatar. Okay, close that off. That's the first one. Let's give ourselves a little room here. Okay, and then what else do we have? We have name. That's going to be equal to tweet dot author dot name. Then we're going to have tweet and that's going to be the actual tweet content of uh, we're going to pass this along as well just to show what we're replying to basically dot content and then finally the ID of the uh, tweet that we are passing in here so tweet dot ID uh, we haven't added this so we're getting a little error but that's fine that will be added in a minute okay and then i'm just going to add a little bit of styling on top of uh, this so i'm just going to do it in line here so let me paste this in okay so that's looking good go ahead and save that and then finally here we want to actually show uh, the length the comments if there is comments so how many comments there is basically so let's go tweet dot comments dot length is greater than zero so if there is a tw at least one comment we're gonna say tweet dot comments dot length and otherwise we're not gonna show anything okay now we're not we don't actually have this up here so let's add that So in our query here, below the likes, come in here and we'll say comments. And we just want to get the, le the length right now, so we'll just get the ID. Okay, go ahead and save that. And then we want to add that just like uh, the likes here. So say comments. Okay. And that should take care of the error there. Okay, so that's basically all we need to do in the all tweets, I believe, unless I forgot something, which is very possible. But let's come back over to the create comment here. And let's start adding uh, these props here. So the things we want to bring in, or we are bringing in rather, are tweet, uh, avatar, 
uh, name and ID, okay? And those are gonna become uh, coming from our props, just like that. Okay, so that's good. We're not using these yet, but uh, hopefully that makes sense and that takes care of our error in our all tweets there. Okay, great. Okay, so now we want to bring in our me query from uh, that we have. So let's go and bring this in. So we don't have use query. Make sure you bring this in. Add use query. That's good. And then we have our me query. And again, our loading and our error state. So make sure we add this because we'll be using it. All right, so let's go ahead and save this and see what we're looking at. Okay, so if we come over here, this is kind of what we got right now. This is our comments, uh, create a comment icon here. We can click on it and it says tweet your reply. So that looks good. Uh, I'm not sure if it's even working, but let's actually do a little more styling too. So we want to actually show the tweet in here that we're replying to just so there's no uh, confusion for people. So let's uh, just add a little markup there for that. All right, so let's come down here and uh, below our header right here is where we wanna add this. So let's give ourselves a little bit of room here and I'm just gonna paste this in real quick um, just to show you. So all this stuff, uh, the name, the avatar, all that was the props that we are bringing in uh, from up here. So that's why we need to bring in these three things because we wanna show the actual tweet. Um, so we're passing those in Let's give ourselves a little room here so you can see the whole thing. Okay, and then I've just added some style in here uh, just with some uh, CSS grid. So that is what this looks like. Uh, we're gonna have our image of the avatar of the tweet of the person rather uh, who created the tweet. So that's good. Uh, we're gonna have the name of them and then here we're gonna have the actual tweet. And then this just has a little bit of styling which is gonna be a line beside it that's gonna connect the two. So go ahead and uh, copy that down if you can. And let's go back and save this and let's check it out. All right, let's refresh. Now let's say, okay, we want to uh, comment on one of these. We'll say this. Oh, we have a little error there. Let's just fix that real quick. Ah, we got this here. Let's get rid of that. Come back over, refresh. All right, so say we want to comment, uh, give a reply to one of these tweets. We can click on this. We can see they're connected by this little line. All right, great. So uh, let's tweet something uh, typical. What a dumb tweet. This is going to be the reply, rather. So then we're going to hit reply here. And something didn't work. Uh, one other thing we forgot here is uh, we want to add an image component just to make it look a little better. So come into our form here and just above here, we just want to add this. And this is going to be the same image component that we've been using for our avatar. And that's why you need the me query because uh, we're going to go data.me.profile.avatar. Okay, go ahead and save that. All right, so we haven't switched this over. So this is obviously not, shouldn't be create tweet. It should be create uh, comment. Okay, so that looks good, save that. And now let's come back over and check this out. All right, so let's tweet something so you are a real jerk. Kind of a typical tweet. Okay, so we should uh, see this modal close and hopefully this works. All right, so that closed, but again, we're not showing uh, the replies yet anywhere. So we really have no idea if that works. So let's check it out in our back end here. All right, so if we come into here, this is uh, my back end. I'm gonna look in the comment here and I'm gonna see if it uh, worked. All right, looks like it worked. Uh, you're a real jerk right in there. Okay, and again, it's attached by a tweet ID and also to our user by a user ID and also a created at. So that looks very good, perfect. All right, so I think that's all we're gonna be doing for uh, this video, otherwise it's gonna stretch on a little bit too long. But uh, next, I think either we'll display these comments um, and we're also gonna have to add uh, a way to do nested comments. So we'll uh, figure out how to comment on a comment or reply on a reply or whatever you wanna say. So uh, stay tuned for that one and I'll uh, see you in the next one.